Virginia Uranium is part of Santoy, a Canadian corporation. It hopes to mine and mill uranium near Chatham, a small town in southern Virginia close to the North Carolina line. Virginia currently bans uranium mining. It's studying whether to lift this ban. If mining were allowed in Virginia, this would be the first time uranium was mined east of the Mississippi. Historically, uranium has been mined in the dry, arid climates. By contrast, Virginia has high annual rainfall, frequent storm events, high groundwater tables, and many interconnecting streams and rivers. Some outsiders look at the controversy over uranium as locals saying, not in my backyard, a so-called NIMBY. But really, every place is someone's backyard, and those who feel threatened raise the questions. In this case, the watershed, the Roanoke River Basin, supplies a huge region, its water supply, the neighborhood, stretches several hundred miles from rural Chatham to the tourist-filled Virginia Beach and the naval bases of Norfolk. It includes communities across the upper areas of North Carolina. All the people who get their drinking water from this common source are downstream from where the mining and milling would occur. There are three types of uranium mining. Open pit mining involves clearing the land, soil, and rock to extract the uranium ore. On average, the ratio of this waste rock to ore is 30 pounds to every pound of ore. This tremendous amount of waste, which contains radium and other metals, is disposed on site. Underground mining produces less waste rock, but poses a greater risk to the health of miners due to the confined spaces. Lastly, there's in situ mining, in which chemicals are injected deep into the earth to dissolve the uranium and bring it to the surface. This is the only type of mining that is regulated by the federal government. After the ore is extracted, it must be intensively processed or milled to produce fuel. Virginia uranium would have a mill on site. Virginia uranium has not stated which type of mining it would use at the Chatham site any one of which would present serious problems. The risk to the area's water supply for mining, milling, and disposal of waste is of primary concern. Thousands of people living downstream of the Chatham site rely on the Roanoke River Basin for groundwater and surface water for drinking. There is also tremendous concern about impacts of uranium mining to the area's agriculture business, to worker and public health, to wildlife and to the economy. Although the mine and mill would provide some new jobs, its operation would cast a shadow over the community's existing businesses, outstanding schools, and its reputation as a great place to live. Even in the desert of the West where uranium mining has occurred, the record has been terrible. The states, federal government, and the Navajo Nation have spent millions of dollars to reclaim their communities from the pollution. They have been unable to reclaim the health of many of their citizens. If Virginia were to lift its moratorium, people from central Virginia to Tidewater would be affected for generations to come. That's why we at the Southern Environmental Law Center are working with businesses and schools, scientists and farmers, to keep Virginia's moratorium against uranium mining and milling in Virginia. We believe that Virginia our backyard, our citizens, and generations to come are worth more than any uranium in the ground.